this video we're going to polish the engine head so if you see in previous videos we're lapping the valves which are right here they're all lapped and ready to go on each spot so they're just here but they are not tight and tight yet they're not assembled yet because all the springs are there um, but in this video what we are going to do is this here check it out see uh, when I send my head to clean uh, I also ask them to blast so they blast everything of course not up here but they blast it down here so look it's kind of dull and it's kind of yeah rough so what I did is I polished a little bit so this will help the air to flow uh, without restriction and what we are going to use is a Dremel I of course have the extension but it doesn't quite matter if you have it or not and I'm using this bit here which is uh, just a rock let me see if I have another one this here right can you see that so I this goes over those areas and make it shiny so let's do it together all right for this job we're going to use the Dremel um, and I'm going to use this stone tips um, I, I already did this first one as you already saw so let's start with this this one here the speed I'm using is number five so let's do it Look at that. Let me see if I can hold the camera and do that. There we go. Yeah, this side here is a little bit harder. So there's a combination of a couple drill bits. I'm going to use this drill bit. A couple inserts I'm gonna put this one now it's a, just a different shape of a rock and this is just gonna get the parts I couldn't get before see the little darker spots let me see if I can zoom a little bit it's like there's a spot in here yeah, see it disappears. So there's this all over. And it just... Put a flashlight on the uh, valve hole. All right, as we are done with this one, um, what I like to do is put some uh, brake cleaner so it gets all the dust together and it doesn't go everywhere 
it's pretty polished now. There you go. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so now we are going to use uh, Magan Aluminum Polish. I guess I could use the Dremel to uh, spread it and polish it there. I just uh, don't want to make the whole mess on my bench here because it flickers stuff from the uh, buffer all over. So just to like this you saw there was just lots of scratches and you can repeat this process as many times as you need look at that You just don't want that in your gasket area. So after you're done, um, clean with carb cleaner. Okay. That thing actually works. And you see that this black here? Look, it's not black. Let's get this part here. It's kind of dirty, but it's not black, right? Um, so we got some of this put back in there and don't worry as many times as you do that it's gonna every time come black because uh, it takes a little bit of the material and that's how it does it
Look at that and ready. That was our clean spot. Well, I couldn't call that clean. Alright, so we did that. Let's do this one too. Let's do the same thing. Get some. Just cleaning the other one. Just done. Alright. So, let me show you the difference. This is the one that we just done. There's some imperfection here, but I mean, it, we didn't cause them. Look at that, right? So we did the three of them. Um, and this is the one, how they were. So, all right, job done. Look at that. So just polished. How nice. And this is what we use. So we use all those inserts for the Dremel. Um, I end up using the polish um, little thingy um, to use this here because it was much nicer. Look at this. It's a much better finish. Um, and if you look up here, of course, I didn't go all the way up because I didn't want to uh interfere on the hole for the valve so i use all of those here um basically this one cover more covers more area this one was nicer actually covering covering the area but if you look here um see you see how much it was taking um this one was taking a lot so this one was nice to start with it would uh, take a lot of uh, a lot of aluminum out of here, and then uh, this guy. This was nice to read some uh, parts at the end. So I realized that this here in the beginning, on the uh, in in here in this part of the um, entry, and then it starts getting like wavy. So the wavy part. This one was nicer. This one would work a little bit. And this guy here. This one was nice to the end because it would get uh, the curves out there. Let me see this here. Um, but anyway, each one of them was good for something. Be sure that you don't use this in your gasket area because you don't want your gasket area to be to have any material removed, especially up here. Um, I use a sandpaper 800 grit, which is uh, very, very, it's like finishing paper, um, but I didn't use very much because if I take one thousandth um, of an inch in, out of here, this is bad already. I'm using gasket MLS, which is the thickest. Um, that has like four layers of matto and all that stuff is a new thing which you, which would be all right it would compensate for that but you don't want to screw this and and have the chance so this got to be very very straight don't touch your gasket area again so with all of this we just want to when the air and fuel gets injected you see that it has a dent in here so this part here is where the fuel, let me get this here, uh, the fuel uh, injector goes right in here and it gets air and this injects um, gas, right? We want the air and the gas to go as fast as it can inside here when the uh, valves open it should go inside very fast. As I was saying I don't see any advantage of this being polished besides, um, I mean, uh, getting less um, carbon being stuck in here, right? Because if it's smooth, it's harder to get stuck 
to stick so uh, but I mean I'm not gonna take the chance I'm not gonna do this on this car or this on this engine right now and so the air goes here faster and boom explodes here and then those two open and the air goes out right so when it goes out on that side that we were seeing uh, it's also polished and it's also ported which is um, it has a little space I'll explain in a minute um, so I've seen charts online and not just ported but also polished you gain some horsepower so you know you don't need to do that in your engine I'm doing on mine this is uh, I'm working hard to get this car running I have another uh, new drift car I bought that is outside is a BMW 330i and which is gonna be awesome too but you know um, I was watching the other day Fast and Furious and I love that quote that phrase that uh, I forgot that the, the Japanese guy what what he said a guy that drifts and gave the car to the American guy um, he said life is easy make choices don't look back so that's it you know I'm making my choice that's my choice to do this that's look at this all of this here shit covered everywhere I have stuff here that I had no clue what it was like a month ago and I'm I'm ready to put all together and I know everything so you know I'm making my choice this is my choice to pour it and to polish and to to polish and do all of this uh, you know if you want to criticize me go ahead but this car is going to run man cost what it costs this is going to run and it's going to be fast so i hope you enjoy subscribe to my channel channel so i hope you enjoy subscribe to my channel if you like it and also check out my website www.carmotsgarage.com Everything I post is there and also uh, I have some pictures some more detail. I write some stuff so it's good to look at. Later.